What's up guys, Grim here, wanting to do a real life episode for you guys today and I guess my green screen is messing up here. I need to get my lighting a little more distributed because I think it's in that corner that the green screen is messing up, but yeah, I'll get that fixed. But I wanted to do a real life episode for you guys to let you know what's going on and I guess I'll go to the not as good news and a little less interesting I'll do that first um, I haven't been on rift all that much lately and there's several reasons for it but the it's not because I'm tired of rift or I want to play other games or anything else rift is absolutely the most fun game for me and I want to be on it as much as possible but uh, the reasons why I haven't been on rift as much lately is because number one yeah, I've been doing a little bit of job searching, you know, that's taking up some of my time. Got to make a little more money, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, number two reason is that I take uh, Friday and Saturday off a lot of the time. So uh, a lot of people play a lot of games during the weekend. That's usually my time to not play games. I... I try not to be the no life gamer, you know, that is so easy to do because games are so fun and you want to stay home for the weekend and play games and stuff like that. But I try to be the guy that actually goes out with my friends and family and go to the movies, go out to eat and all that fun stuff on the weekend to try to be a little bit social, you know. It's so easy to want to stay home and level up your characters or do some PvP or something. And yeah, I it takes a lot of effort, but I do go out with all of my friends and I have a blast when I'm out with them. It's just getting out in the first place. So yeah, I made I make it a schedule basically that every Friday and Saturday and sometimes Sunday, those are my days that I do not game. I go out and hang out with friends. And I really like that I do that. You know, once I'm out, I like that I went out. And uh, the number three reason why I haven't been on Rift as much lately is because I've been playing some other games. And it's not because I want to play those other games instead of Rift, because Rift is the funnest game for me. Uh, I absolutely love Rift and I do not see that changing anytime soon. The reason why I'm playing some other games is that I'm trying to level up and stuff like that because I'm wanting to make a second YouTube channel. And I know you're thinking that the Minecraft one is already a second one for me, but the Minecraft one is probably going to go away for the most part. Um, I'm not having a lot of fun on Minecraft right now and also I'm wanting to put all other gameplay on a second YouTube channel and it will be a lot of newer games it'll be a lot of MMOs uh, just a lot of gameplay will be on that second channel and this one will be specifically Rift and the other the second channel will launch once I come up with a good name for it and that's the problem is that almost every variation of Grimm is already taken on YouTube and a lot of other places. So I'm trying to come up with a catchy name for it, uh, one that will be easy to Google and see exactly my, cha uh, my channel and stuff pop up. I'm wanting to keep the same Grimm theme to it, but yeah, I got I to gotta come up with some variation that will be a little bit unique. So that's what's coming up and that's a big reason why I haven't been on Rift as much. Well, I've been playing Rift maybe once every two or three days, which sucks, but that's just how I have to distribute my time right now. And a lot of my guildies seem to not be liking it because uh, most people will join my guild to play with me and then if I'm only on once every two or three days, they're going, man, this this guy is never on and we're out of here and I am having some people leave the guild they're not really joining to have a well a lot of people do they they join to have just a fun casual guild that if they do bad in a PvP match you're not gonna have people chewing them out we're totally against that 
If, say for instance if you play healer and you join our guild and then you go into a war front with us well you're not going to have our guildies going why didn't you heal me you know uh i didn't get a heal all match and stuff like that you'll never hear that from our guild because if you do they don't fit in our guild those type of people that complain like that are not people that we want in our guild so it's such a fun casual guild for pvp because we're just in there to have fun and play with each other if we lose matches and it sucks but that's the way it goes and uh but then again you have people that aren't joining for that reason they're joining to play with me because they watch the youtube videos and they're thinking hey i want to play with Grim." and uh yeah if i'm only on every two or three days those people are like man he's never on i'm out of here and then they leave the guild which sucks you know it sucks so bad because i get attached to a lot of these guys and you know somebody that i chat with all the time and i might help them out with a lot of pvp tactics and tips and stuff like that and all of a sudden they leave the guild and i'm like man you know i kind of like that guy you know and yeah now they're gone and I start to miss them and there's been lots of people that have left already that I've already missed them you know and we get plenty of people to fill the empty spots you know we're always having people join and stuff like that but yeah it sucks when people leave especially the ones that chat a lot with you and you get to know and but that's all part of running a guild I guess and uh, if you're interested in joining our guild and let me stress join it for it being a casual pvp guild that nobody's going to chew you out nobody's going to say you did something wrong and if somebody does message you and say hey this is what you could do it's always just trying to help you out it's never to criticize you and you know put you down or chew you out or anything like that but our guild is grim's reapers on wolfsbane us server and come join for a casual game but uh, some of the other stuff that's been going on, uh, you might notice I'm a little bit skinnier right now. It's because uh, I'll give a little bit of a backstory, and this is going to be a long story, a uh, long video because of it. But I used to compete in combative sports. I used to be uh, big into wrestling uh, throughout high school, and then um, I got big into MMA fighting and I competed in it for a while and of course you know people will always ha uh, be doubters and stuff like that but I thought that I was extremely good at it and there was multiple reasons why I got out of it but yeah uh, I love MMA fighting and you know even though I'm not competing in it today I love to watch it but uh, once I quit competing and I quit working out as much I was still eating as much as I did back then and so once I got off of all the working out and still eating a lot I gained weight and man I kept the weight on for a few years you know and now I'm wanting to shed it off and I want to shed it off before summer really kicks in because where I'm from, we go on a lot of river trips and stuff like that. Go floating, take the boats out on the rivers, and yeah, we have a lot of fun in the summer. So I'm looking to get a better body for it. And so I, I've tried lots of diets and even tried to cut out the sodas and uh, cutting out the... Uh, I always do everything extreme. If I'm going to quit sodas, I'm going to quit cold turkey usually. And every time that I tried that I would get headaches really bad and most people always told me that yeah you'll get the headaches for about two or three days and then it'll go away and then you'll be all right well I would quit sodas and man I would have a headache for a week long you know or more and eventually I would just go man I can't take these headaches anymore and I would go grab a soda and they would go away you know within the next day and that was you know a week or more of punishment you know I hate headaches so bad and so I never could quit sodas before you know uh, and also I'm just 
ate pretty bad. You know, I was, I'm a social beast. I go out on the weekends and I go out to eat and stuff with all my friends. Well, uh, so all these diets have always been kind of rough on me. I never really had much progress from any of them until just recently I started doing the keto diet. And if you're unfamiliar with the keto diet, be sure to Google it because I can't do it justice on the ex explanation. But it's basically a high protein, high fat diet with almost no carbs at all. And there's many diets that are very similar to it, such as the paleo diet, the Atkins diet, and lots of other ones. You know, they, they all kind of uh, have their extremist uh, way of doing things. Well, now I wake up in the morning and I eat a couple of hard boiled eggs, I eat a few sausage patties, uh, you know, maybe have a protein shake at lunch, and then uh, in the evening I'm eating chicken breasts and, you know, just lots of meats and a lot of protein. And man, the weight is just falling off. Oh my gosh, it's coming off so fast. It's coming off so fast that I'm thinking that I need to. Uh, cut the diet short pretty soon and my game plan was to do it for two and a half weeks because I started on a Monday and uh, I was going to do it for that whole week the whole next week and then pretty much up until Friday of the following week and then that that weekend go out with friends and you know try to enjoy the progress that I've made well, it's fallen off so fast that I'm starting to think that I need to cut it short because I don't want to lose weight too fast. You know, it's unhealthy if you lose it too fast. Um, the thing is, is with a diet like this is I eat as much as I want to, but whenever you're eating meats and stuff, it fills you up and it makes you not want to eat much more because you're not hungry really. And with me drinking, uh, well, I'll get to the drinking part here. Um, with me eating so uh, as much meats as I can, I'm not really getting much calories because if you look at the calorie facts and stuff, it's like uh, two uh, grilled chicken breasts is only a hundred calories for two of them, and yeah, it, you eat as much as you want, and then you look at it and you go, "Wow, I didn't need hardly any calories today." Uh, so low that I started to worry am I killing myself uh, you know I'm eating but what what's the deal my calories are so low and uh, I started looking online and there's uh, there's some diets and stuff that have a very low calorie uh, diets and a lot of doctors will put people on very low calorie diets if they're obese and stuff and also I started thinking well you know uh, a lot of people go on fasting diets as well, you know, or for religious reasons or just like a cleansing thing. And they'll go a week and some of the fasting and cleansing uh, game plans are for a month. So these people are getting almost no calories at all, all that time. And they're healthy. They're very healthy. They're doing it for health reasons. They're doing cleansing and uh, also the religious fasting tends to, you know, get you in shape too so yeah all the people that are saying these super low diets uh, are terrible for you I'm thinking that's not the case I mean anything long term with an extremist diet is bad I mean you don't want to stay on this very long uh, definitely not over a month you know so well that's my opinion anyway you know everybody has their opinions on all these diets and they really kind of uh, hate on a lot of them and yeah you're always going to have haters for everything but anything uh, taken in an extremist fashion for long term is generally bad so yeah I'm going to cut this one probably short because I'm losing so much weight and I'll, I'll post a before and after picture real fast uh, probably put it on the screen here and uh, I started out at about 260 pounds and now I'm down to 240 and well under 240 and it's coming off extremely fast so yeah we're going to have to cut this diet short because I don't want to lose uh, weight 
you know too fast for too long it, it it'll probably be bad for me so yeah we're not going to do that but afterwards after i get off the uh the keto diet within a week week and a half or so i'm going to go to a complete opposite type of diet which will be kind of a, a high carb uh low fat diet and it'll be just a an eating plan and we're going to see how it goes because it's supposed to be a real high energy uh, eating plan and uh, that will be great for the summer it's basically a whole lot of fruits and um, yeah that's where you get most of your calories is is from the fruits and stuff and if you have any questions about why that would be all right and if you're worrying about you know how much sugar would be in fruits and all that good stuff then do a little bit of research it's pretty interesting what you find out and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of real life with grim and if this stuff gets pretty popular uh the last real life video i did people really seem to like it and if you guys really like this video be sure to hit the like button and let me know what you think. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to have plenty of people hating on uh, the diets I'm on and everything else. And I expect that in the comments. That's going to be pretty natural. But it's working. That's all I got to say is it's working and it's not going to be very long. Um, yeah, hit the like button. If there's lots of likes, I'm going to try to get a video camera so I can do more real life episodes. And a lot of them outside of this chair so you know uh you'll see me at the gaming store that i go to and all the crazy stuff that happens there and lots of other stuff whenever i go do sports and hang out with my friends and stuff like that i'm going to bring you guys along for it and see how you enjoy it and as usual my name is grim and i will see you next time <laughs>